Okay, we're going to be doing a multiplication problem here, and it's going to be having a decimal point in the multiplication problem, and we're going to be using the counting method. So let's go ahead and get started. It's going to be not too different at all from our regular multiplication using the counting method, except at the very end when we go to take into consideration our decimal points. Okay, so let's pretend like our decimal points aren't there, and we'll call this a 3 and a 5. So our multiplicand is a 3, 5, and a multiplier is a 6, 8. So we're going to start by setting the multiplicand on the far left-hand side of the abacus. 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I'm going to set my multiplier. Starting with the far right-hand side of the abacus, I'm going to say each digit plus the multiplication side. 6, 8 times 3, 5. And I'm going to start by setting the 6 here in my 10 thousands rod. Um, so we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I've set my multiplier and my multiplicand. I'm going to put my left index, my right index finger on the rod directly to the right of my multiplier. And I'm going to multiply 8 times 3, which is 24. It's a 2, 4. I'm going to set 1, 2, and then go to the next rod, the, hun the tens rod, and set 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to multiply again. Keep my finger on that tens rod and multiply again. 8 times 5, which is 40, a 4, 0. 1, 4, 5 exchange. 2, 3, 3, 4, and a 0. I'm going to clear the 8 from my multiplier. I'm going to move my right index finger directly to the right of my multiplication multiplier, which is 6 now. I'm going to begin multiplying 6 times 3 is 18. That's a 1, 8, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I did a 9, 10 exchange there. And I'm going to multiply 6 times 5. And I know that's a three zero, so I'm going to say write one, two, three in my hundreds column and zero, nothing in my tens column. I'm going to clear my multiplier. So now is where the decimal point comes into play. I see I have one decimal point to the right of the multiplier and one decimal point to the right of the multiplicand. So that's two decimal places that I need to take into consideration. So I feel my abacus here. These first two rods are going to be to the right of my decimal point. So I see, what do I have here? Okay, so I have two more numbers here. And these numbers, these rods are going to represent my whole numbers. So that is 23. And then there's a decimal point here, an imaginary one, point. Eight, zero. And so my answer here, my product, is 23.80 or 23.8. And that's how I do a multiplication problem with decimal points on the abacus using the counting method.